going? <laughs> so I'll ask Lavana a couple of questions, and then we want to throw it out to you and get your questions oh, on this very interesting. This one? Oh, this one. Are you in here? No, this way maybe. Okay. Yeah. Just a second. <laughs> no problems. It's interesting, this chair. Let's stay. Okay. Let's I prefer to stand. <clears throat> yeah, let's stand. <laughs> okay. So, uh, tell us how you got involved in this most unusual film. What attracted you to it? Um, it was uh, when I read first time the script. My heart was so happy to, to read script that uh, somebody wrote about uh, uh, old people because uh, today everything is written for young and um, good looking and uh, suddenly there was um, also, ah, that's why I, I looked so, what's this. And uh, the script writers, they are young, Sharon Maimon and Tal Granit, very talented. We have very talented people, young people in Israel that write so nice scripts and the plays and the really, really, it's a new generation and uh, we are so proud of their art, uh, actress, actress and actresses that uh, they are, uh, we have such a nice generation now. And uh, you see all the movies uh, from, that come from Israel, they are coming better and better each year. <laughs> Were there things about this particular role that appealed to you, besides uh, the fact that it's your name that they gave the character because they wrote the role for you? Yes, they wrote for me. Um, it, it's a special role uh, about some dimension. Uh, a disease that uh, it's running in uh, many houses. Uh, thank God in my house didn't. Um, during the shooting of the movie, uh, my mother passed away. Uh, but she passed away, she was, she knew everything, any minute, what happened to her, what house, what she feels, which pills she's taking. So I didn't have an example to, to follow. Uh, I read a lot of um, things to, to see. And um, what I've done as an actress, I made some decisions. I looked from the beginning till the end of the script. And I saw how often she start, when she starts to forget things and how it come closer and closer and the timing. And I started to write. I was writing my thoughts. I was writing, just writing. <laughs> you were writing what you thought she was be thinking about. Yes. And that was helping you get into character. Yes. Because you know, the movie you're making, one day you make the end, and the other day, you are making the start of the movie, you are shooting. Uh, there is no continuity like in the play from the beginning to the end. No, there is a, a scene number this and this today because of the location. If we are shooting in some location, <clears throat> we have to finish all the scenes of the location. So um, you have to jump from mood to mood uh, in the same day, from the beginning of the movie till the end. And uh, that's a problem, especially in such a, a role, how you are doing it, how to do it. But I had such a good partners. Could you talk about your cast members? All the cast members, they are, uh, we are good friends. We worked already in the theater. With Zev Rebach, uh, he's playing my husband, Yecheskel. We were in 19, 1970. We were in the blood wedding by Lorca in the Camry Theater. 
with Ilan Dar. We were in another, I was with him with the, in another show. Ilan Dar is the uh, veterinarian. The yeah. veterinar. The doctor, yeah. The doctor. Yeah. He's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, with him I played in the, also in the camera theater, camera theater uh, by Shai Agnon Shira. And um, we had a very good relationship in, during the movie. It was very nice. And um, uh, there was some problems, of course. We were shooting during the war. Uh, Amudanan, that's the name in Hebrew. Before the last one, it was another one. <laughs> so we were shooting in Amudanan and the film started in the last uh, um, war, so... Um, what year was that? Uh, uh, two years ago. Two years ago, was it in the summer? We shoot the movie. Uh, no, I, I'm with coat and, uh, uh -huh. okay. and Jerusalem, and it's, it's a little bit cold. Uh, December. Uh, okay. um, um, so and so and I was telling everyone your career goes back to the '60s, but was this your first nude scene? Uh, <laughs> uh, yes, it, it is. <laughs> would you would you tell them about your experience of, um, of that that shooting and what transpired yes, on was, set? Yes, uh, it was embarrassing. Let me tell you, uh, I had to sit with the directors to tell them. I'm not going to show any part of my parts. Everything it will be covered. I give you the permission just to shoot here, this part, and uh, and uh, that's how it was. Uh, but I was talking about wars. Just I was all packed and covered all the places, and I with the white uh, robe. Suddenly, only one uh, alarm was in Jerusalem, just before my scene. I said, why, why, why now? I was sweating, it was December, I was, I said, oh my God. And then uh, with thousand people, we went to the shelter, and I'm with nothing, only with the waiting to finish up this scene. And then we went up and we did the scene and it was one take. <laughs> and my husband was behind the monitor watching to see that everything is okay. First I asked him, is it okay? I didn't want him to be embarrassed or something that but later on, you saw Aliza, how brave she is, the partner, uh, yes. Yana. And, uh, Sitting in the green, greenhouse. And uh, without my scene, couldn't be the other scene, uh, which means such a friendship. And that's the movie, friendship, that they went until the end for friendship. And um, really the end, they were naked. And uh, to, to tell me, it's okay, we are with you, don't worry, don't uh, be upset, don't, we are friends, we are still friends. It's about love, about friendship, about um, death, and how to, go to the other world, um, to choose. And if you ask me what I think about it, what I will do if, God forbid, I will be in such a situation, I don't know. Really, I don't know. But I think that each one has to choose his way to live and his way to die. That's what I think. And did the process of making the film change? Is that 
Is that how you felt when you started making the film? No, I was I was against. Uh, you were, yeah, like I your was character. And like my character, I was mm -hmm. really against. I, I'm not good to to go and. Uh, um, but uh, later on, uh, I changed my mind in the movie, and I, I asked myself many many times, what really really. You, Levana, will do. And I don't know. I don't know. At the beginning, I knew I want to live. I love, I love my life. It is good. Why uh, to end it? But, uh, you know, with the situation in the, all the characters, you started to change your mind also. And it was good for my part because um, you see how I started and how I ended. And um, that's a process. As your character is like the conscience of the film. <clears throat> and so there is that big shift when Lavana decides, okay, this is for me. I can't do this anymore. I wanted to ask one more question before we ask the audience for questions. Could you talk to us a little about that wonderful but odd scene in which you're all singing in the car? <laughs> I am. I don't sing. Oh, you're not in the car. I'm not in the oh, car. Okay. They That's took right. me out. That's right. <laughs> can you sing? I can sing. Oh, okay. Of course, I sing okay. very nice. But uh... <laughs> but did, uh, did you? Could you tell us? Did you? ever have discussions with the filmmakers what the logic of that scene was because it's only one scene in the film where they sing and you like it or not no i like it i like it there are some critics because there who are is like it's people what's, that what's they the don't thing? like it. it it's also in israel they say what is this song in the middle why they all they are coming and singing what um i Honestly, I didn't like it either. Oh. <laughs> we won't tell. But them. second time, third time, I saw the movie. Fourth time, I I looked with another eyes, with my eyes, yes, but uh, different thoughts, and it was like a relief from all the death, and um, that's what it makes you. You know, you are going to to movies or to a theater to, you want to laugh, you want to cry. But with this movie, you get and think, you're thinking. And one of the places that you have the space to think is in this song. And uh, it makes you wait, what they are singing about? And uh, that's, what I saw in the fourth time that I saw the movie. And I like it. Today I love it. I love the movie, really. Yeah. The song is very much about the connectedness of the living and the dead and, and what they hope for, and it's very moving in that way. So, do we have some questions here in the back? Oh, good, Great. please light. Please. Thank you again. Thank you again for uh, you and your fellow actors, beautiful cinema. This truly is uh, an exhibit of ahava, of love. And I hope you will accept our collective ducky kiss for all of your talents. This really does allow audiences to think about what the right thing to do is. Who am I to judge the wish of others? I personally have lost a parent to Alzheimer's, so it meant a great deal to see this come alive. And I hope it continues and perpetuates and invites the questions of many of the audiences to come nationwide, worldwide. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Other comments or questions? They're in the middle, in the back. And, yep. I like this. Okay. 
Uh, this is about I Love You, Rosa. It was probably the only Israeli movie I saw at that time. Were you Rosa? No, I was Jamila, the Arab woman. Okay. It would be fun to see that again. Good. Maybe the, maybe the committee will think about it. I will tell Moshe Mizrahi, uh, the director, is a winner in the real Oscar. Yes. There's another comment behind you there in the way back over there. Oh, go ahead, right here, please. Is it on? Yeah. I believe everyone should have the right and the privilege to make decisions for themselves regarding their own life. There is a wonderful organization in this country called Compassion and Choices. If you have any questions, anything you want to know, go on the web, look them up, and they will be very helpful. Thanks for letting us know about that. In the back there, please. I love the movie, thank you. I also loved I Love You, Rosa. Um, I was very, very touched as you, as an actor, changed. Um, but I wanted to know how you felt as the person, um, the scene was very moving, putting your handbag in the freezer, um, breaking, as humorous as it is, breaking all of those eggs, uh, tasting the cookies with the salt. I mean, that to me is very, very real, and I wanted to know your feelings while doing that. Um, my thoughts were doing it. Uh, I was thinking, uh, and that's how I work. I'm thinking the, th the thoughts of the character when I work and I don't play. I really think, and that's very easy. Everybody can be an actor. That's a good lesson now I'm telling you. Really, if you're thinking the exact thought in the same minute, it will bring you to another thought. Now you are sit sitting here, you are watching me, but m most of you are thinking on different things. I'm talking and I'm thinking, who is Hadas? Hadas at Po? No, Hi, you have a law from your mother from Israel. Where are you? <laughs> okay, so you see, I'm talking to you and uh, I'm thinking, where is Adas? And here she is, hi, yeah. shalom. <laughs> Her mother, she's a friend of mine, and uh, she said she will come today. And uh, here I am. <laughs> Good, welcome. So um, you have to really think the right thought and not to act, and then you'll believe me what I'm doing there. That's uh, my mo method in one leg. <laughs> yeah. It's a very matter of fact scene, the way it happens and the way it, it's, uh, your husband responds to it. Levana and I were also talking about <clears throat> the new movie with Julianne Moore, Still Alice, which is also a portrayal. Levana was saying she, did, she thinks Julianne Moore does deserve to win the Oscar for that. So we have a comment here. Yes, it's more of a comment. Um, this is a very important role. I don't know if you appreciate how important it. Uh, ju just in my own family, um, my father made a, cho a choice to leave when life wasn't fun to him anymore. And my mother actually, when she was 95, played that nude role in a nursing home. Uh, so so uh, it's a very touching thing and we've also had burning food in ovens in our family. So you express the life of a lot of people in that role. And thank you very much. Thank you. I mean, with the filmmakers, when you were talking with them, did they ever talk explicitly about the blend of humor 
and sadness and melancholy that they were going striving for in the script. When when we were playing, for example, when I'm putting the uh, my purse in the refrigerator, um, I I I didn't think uh, it's funny. Uh, it will be funny or to make it funny. I did it very correctly to do it, to put it, and to go. And. Um, it, the situation it's funny it's funny and it's very very sad together that's what it's the beauty of this movie that uh, it's together it's uh, um, there is humor and there is a sadness and uh, I'm so proud to be in such a movie that uh, have to bring something else not only a good story like this one there is also some uh, messer, some uh, uh, things to pass on. To pass on things to pass, message to pass on. Message to pass on more than just a story. Like you said, it's a that's life of a lot of people that touch these moments with their parents, with their grandma. What I was surprised with this movie, that young people were very, very connected. We were in the Venice Festival. <clears throat> we won the prize. Hey. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and um, uh, many young people came to me, hugging me. And, uh, uh, and and I was surprised because uh, it was the first screening. It was in Venice. And uh, this feeling that the young people can be in touch, they could see their grandpas, their grandmas with their problem. They, they, it, it was like we opened them the mind, you know, that they, they connected better with uh, all the uh, relative generations that uh, they are touching these problems. We have time for one more question. Please go ahead. Hi. I was wondering whether um, you felt as an actress that there was something, that there might have been something contagious about um, the exposure to the euthanasia, whether Lavana would have gotten to the point of wanting to end her life if she hadn't seen other people go through it. Levana the character or Levana? Yeah, Levana the character. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, that was her name, right? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. They put my name as... Okay. Um, she didn't want at the beginning, of course. But later on, she saw what she's doing. All the results that happens, all the accidents, all the, uh, what her daughter is, she's so worried that she can uh, uh, <laughs> burn the house, she can do things. So um, the character understand that something is very wrong. Which Yeheskel, my husband, he wanted to protect me, to to stay with me, to to leave me alive. That's the difference between the the. Okay, so we can we have to leave. Thank you so much for coming and sharing your insights with us. Thank you for Thank supporting. Thank you very much, Atlanta.